Hey guys, Yvonne here at ivanmana.com, and in this video, I want to show you how to mobile optimize your GetResponse landing pages. So in the previous video, we built out this awesome landing page. I'm going to click on view online and it looks like this. So this was a 52.68% conversion rate landing page. However, on mobile, it doesn't look the best. So if we minimize it on a mobile device, it will look like this. So it's okay. It's not absolutely horrible, but it looks pretty bad. So the arrow over here is kind of in the middle of nowhere. We have these things that aren't centered, aren't aligned, right? None of this makes sense. How do you mobile optimize it? And that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's head over and edit this page. Uh, and if you haven't created a landing page, if you're not sure where to start, check the video out on how to build this page out. We'll, we did it completely from scratch. Uh, but over here, let's do it. So it's actually pretty simple in GetResponse. We're going to simply click on this option here, uh, you know, for mobile device, and we're going to simply rearrange elements, okay? So the first thing that bugs me here is this little arrow that's kind of in the middle of nowhere. Now we could drag it more so to the side. We can make it smaller. We can make this opt-in field smaller on mobile. We can do that, but um, I don't think that's the best way to go. I think the best thing to do here is to just flat out remove this on mobile. So hide it. Okay. So what we can do is we can select this element and just click that little I sign with a little uh, cross through it. Okay. And then that's going to remove it on mobile. Now, if we go on desktop, it's going to stay here, but it's no longer here on mobile. So now we can drag this up a little bit. Now I don't want to drag it up all the way because I want to make this bigger. So let, let's select this first. And let's increase the size of that text by a bit. So make it 27, uh, maybe a bit smaller. Keep in mind on a mobile device, it's going to be easier to read this than from here from a big computer screen, right? Uh, so the fact that it's smaller is okay. So we're going to drag that. Let's drag this a bit more to the top. Let's make these a bit smaller. So we're going to select that, make these a bit. Okay, so we're going to do something like this. And we can adjust it here. So not quite even. So we want to make sure we align it properly. Do it like that. And then make this a bit smaller. Okay, so that's basically what you're going to do. You're just going to go on mobile and you're just going to rearrange these options here like that. We can use the arrow keys. Now this we should probably make a little bit smaller. Looks too big. And then same thing here reduce that size and then boom there you go okay so already looking much better uh, let's move this a bit down and we can move this up now you might be wondering okay well how do I find this arrow now do I have to add a new arrow no all you're gonna do is click on show hidden and it's gonna show you that arrow right there to unhide it just click that little button again and it's gonna show up here but we're gonna hide it okay so just click hide uh, or click show elements okay uh, Click hide elements. Yeah, so that's going to show it there. Uh, so that's it for this part. Sorry, let's hide it again. Doesn't go away. There you go. So now let's fix this. So it's we're saying what you learn and then we want to uh, have this kind of on the side. Now we could add this on the side and then, you know, make it smaller and then add this on the right hand side. It's probably not going to look too good. So what we might want to do is maybe for mobile, we just decrease the size of this. Um, and actually, no, that should be over here, right? So that's not even the right way of doing it. So let's increase the size here. And that's all you're going to do for mobile optimizations. You're just going to play around with this. There's not much, um, unlike thrive themes. If you watch my mobile optimization on thrive themes video, there were a few more options we could have used to, uh, perfect mobile optimization, but in this case, not so much. Okay. So in this case, what we're just going to do instead is. Do something like that, maybe reduce the size of this. And this one we should left align. So for some reason it is centered. So we're just gonna left align that and reduce the size, maybe reduce it even a little bit more. There you go. So something like that is totally okay, I think. You can add that and there you go. And we can maybe even reduce this size here too. Okay, now what we could do is we could maybe add a little divider here, okay? So what we can do is let's head over here and let's see if we can find some sort of arrow. So right here, we're going to have an arrow. Okay. So we're going to have that divider. 
So we're going to go ahead and drag and drop it here. Okay. Then we're going to head over to mobile. We're going to grab that. We're going to drag it here. Now it doesn't look good that it's red. So let's select it. Let's change it up a little bit. Maybe make it light gray. Oops. I didn't go through correctly. There you go. Nope. Again, didn't go through. Doesn't seem to save. There you go. Let's try that. And then maybe not so thick. So we're going to double click it. Now it's going to be kind of hard to select it again um, just because it's so small, but that's okay. Maybe let's increase the size there. And then I'm going to use the left, uh, the left and right arrow keys to move it a bit more. Maybe do that. And then let's see if we can center it. So there you go with center. And then there you go. Okay. So it doesn't look as bad anymore on mobile. Looks a little bit neater and on desktop, it's still the same. Now there is no real option to just remove something from desktop and only have it show up on mobile. So what we're going to do here is we're going to move this little uh, line to the left here. We're going to double click it, select the color, and we're going to just hide it and blend it in here. Okay. So that way it's transparent. It's not visible, uh, but yet it is still visible on mobile. Okay. So it's not perfect. It's not the perfect solution. Um, but given that GetResponse isn't the best landing page builder, it's not meant to be a standalone landing page builder, this is a pretty good solution, okay? So we're going to come back here. So after that, we have to edit this. So this looks a little too big. So we're going to simply make it a bit smaller. We're going to maybe make this button a little smaller. Reduce the size of that by a little bit. And that looks pretty good to me as well. Now, the color over here seems to have disappeared. It was gray on desktop, but now it uh, on mobile it didn't quite change. So let's make it gray here as well. The background color there and there. Now it's pretty consistent. Uh, let's select this. Or maybe the color just completely disappeared. Let's see what this color was. So we're going to copy that. Let's come back here. Let's paste it there. Um, okay, so something like that looks good enough. So let's head back over into mobile and that looks good. Okay, so we have the matching colors. That looks good. Maybe we can reduce it here. Okay, so, so far so good. The only thing is now for this part. Okay, so we have two options. One is we can uh, have the image followed by the text over here and then image text, image text, or we can just make the images and the text smaller and move it from left to right. Um, in this case, I'm probably going to go with the first option. So we're going to have image and then text right after. Okay. So we're, we're just going to go through this and adjust it manually. Then we have text and we're going to have to increase the size of this box here. So we're going to drag that a little bit lower, scroll down, drag it a little lower. Uh, learn how to track conversions. And then we're going to have something like this. Okay. And that looks good enough, I think. Okay, so we definitely fixed the issue of it being kind of old, they're tightly knit together. Uh, this still looks much better than what it was. And I think that's pretty much it. All right, and that's all there is to it. Maybe we can reduce the size here. And that's pretty much how you mobile optimize a page on GetResponse. That's all you do. You go to desktop now, and this looks pretty good. So if we save it, and now we preview this page. Okay, it's going to look like this. And then if we minimize it now, as you can see, it looks much better. Um, I guess we didn't change the logo at the top, so we can rearrange that. We could, uh, you know, move it a bit more to the left. We didn't do that. Uh, and then here we have that. So let's go ahead and make that bigger. Uh, so let's go back in here and let's see, did we miss the logo at the top? Yeah, so I completely missed it. So we can go ahead and drag that here. You know, we can do this, but that's pretty much it. Okay. And that's how you mobile optimize. So go into this mobile tab and everything is just going to be uh, changed for you in real time. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, check out my Unbounce playlist if you want to learn how to create landing pages using a dedicated landing page builder. And then check out my courses on paid traffic at ivanmana.com slash old dash courses. I teach you how to run traffic from Google ads, Facebook ads, Microsoft ads, and then I cover remarketing in greater detail as well. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.